Hey guys, we talk a lot about how different foods affect our body and our health. What we don't talk about is how our childhood trauma and our emotions also has a huge impact on the body. So I find that the best way to explore all that is to talk about the chakras. Um, so for those of you who don't know, we have seven main energy centers that are linked to different regions of our body, to different organs and different emotions. And we're going to explore all of them over the next seven weeks. And I'm going to start with the root chakra, which is the very first chakra. And so I'm going to try to explore it in five minutes. Um, so the root chakra is located at the base of the spine and it's linked to the first three vertebrae and the rest of our body, so our lower body. And it's associated with the color red. Yes, that's exactly why I'm wearing red today. It's responsible for feeling safe, secure, and stable. So it's linked to everything that has to do with or basic needs as a human being. I'll explain that further. As humans, if our basic needs are not met, and if we don't feel supported, we don't feel grounded, we don't feel safe, and we don't feel stable, either financial stable or stability linked to having enough food and water, uh, or anything else that's linked to your basic needs, then that may affect your root chakra. I want to make it clear that your root chakra is associated with the feeling of not being safe and stable and secure and not the, your actual situation. Because there are some people who have everything in the world and all the money in the world and still experience the feeling or the fear of not having enough. And that's usually uh, a result of a childhood trauma. If at any point of your childhood, your basic needs were not being met in a timely manner, or you felt unsafe, not protected, not supported, it's possible that you're still carrying that feeling and it still affects your day to day. Also, I want to explore the feeling of not being supported. If you are in a household where uh, you're the primary caregiver, right? Your primary breadwinner and you don't feel supported, that also affects you. If you're the main person responsible for uh, domestic, domestic tasks, <laughs> for domestic tasks <laughs> and, and your household and you don't feel supported by either your kids or your husband or your wife, depending on the situation, that can also affect your feeling of not being supported. An imbalanced root chakra causes feeling of anxiety, of uh, it causes pain, especially in your legs, because again, your legs are directly linked to your root chakra. Because if you really think about it, your legs is what technically supports your body. So a feeling of feeling unsafe has a direct impact on that part of your body, right? So it can cause physical pain and uh, your thighs your knees, ankles, and also could affect your bladder. So if you're experiencing any of these issues, what I would recommend is spending time in nature. And I know you don't feel the connection, but spending time in nature, walking barefoot on the earth, on the ground, makes you, kind of makes you feel connected to the nature, to the universe, to something bigger. Uh, it it kind of makes you feel one with them, like you're a part of something. Um, and, and that helps ground you, uh, it helps you feel supported. Also, speaking up if you feel overwhelmed, so that you could probably find a solution on how your partner or whoever you live with can support you. Um, also, remember what you've been through. There's, if you're still here, there's probably not a situation in your life that you did not overcome. So as long as there's a you, there's abundance. Your abundance is directly connected to you and not a job, not a career, not a partner. So if you, once you know that and you connect to that, that can help you feel more grounded, more safe and more supported because as long as there's a you, you're fine.